Afternoon, my name's Adrian Toft and I'm the CEO of Zone RV and today I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at our Generation 2 caravan production line. starts right here in our chassis bay. It's already been built in house across the road, gone down to the galvanizers and back, sitting here ready to make your dreams come true. So all of our chassis are in this rolling state on these nice uh, modules that we've made so they can move around really easy for the guys. Everything's nice and level, at a great height to work. And here's the really bare bones of your van. Boys have already run a few wires, there's a few things starting to happen, but you'll see as we keep walking through the production line, this is the exciting bit, it's the birth of a new caravan. So, start of someone's dream becoming a reality. So, follow me through and we'll have a good look. Righto, so now you can see already, suspension's been put on this one. Now, every Zone RV now has ATX airbag suspension. Been doing that for a while. This one's fitted with disc brakes as well. You can see again, nice and low, easy for the guys to work on. Makes it safe and easy. There's plenty of room in this factory. So we, we try and utilize our space the best we can, but mainly it's just really good for the guys to move around. There's some large parts that come in here. They've got overhead cranes, but it makes it a nice working environment for them too. We'll move on to the next stage, but that's that second stage there where you can see that's all been put in there, protection for the water tanks and the new battery box location. Right, so now we've got water tanks situated. They've been set up in our new battery box. So the rules have changed where all lithium batteries need to be external of the van. So we've actually made a nice composite box that does that for us. It's a fully sealed box. We'll show you more down the line when you can see that exploded view, but right now that's been put in there. All the batteries have already been um, placed. Everything's set up, it's ready to go. So it's a really nice thing again, nice and easy. Guys can put that in simply. All the tanks go in really easy. Everything's nice and easy to work on on a zone and it's all up and protected. So you'll have the best experience as well. So we'll just keep moving through the factory, but this is really the start of the journey. All right, so now we're looking at your floor. So here's your one piece floor ready to go. All of our vans are already cut out, prepared, ready. Everything gets notched in so it's easy for everybody to know it locates it. There's no guesswork in a zone. So everything gets put in its place, the holes, the plugs, the whole thing's ready to rumble. This goes straight onto that chassis, bonded down, and that's the platform for you and your van. So we're a composite business, obviously. We say all of our composite boxes are made across the road at one composites. One of the nice things about that, we've encased it with our metal on the front to protect it. Alley plates fully um, hardened with the paint, tough coat on there. Doors are all painted as well. Rails, everything go on. So they're fully pre-assembled, ready to go to the line. So every day, two vans go through in the Gen 2s. So two of these are ready for tomorrow's vans, on they go. So here we are, start of the line. This is the start of the inside getting filled out. So diesel hot water system, straight on. That's one of the first things that go on all our vans now. All of our vans across the entire range have this same Wabasto diesel hot water. You'll see the furniture starting to come on, locating points. This is where we get our strength, the way we bond everything together forms that floors on there, held down nice and tight. So we'll take a bit of a wander through and have a look, eh? So as you can see, this is the way we get our strength. So there's a little bit of aluminium in here as well, but most of our stuff is all composite. The way we mold it, bolt it, screw it down, fully bonded, gives it the strength. So this is obviously a chase lounge. So this is the start of that. You've obviously got our bed, we start to build, all these modules get built to the side and we'll show you that. And then they all come in as units, so everything's ready to go. So I'm here with Damo. Damo looks after all the front end of um, cabinetry. That's a pretty big operation in our business and I know you take it really uh, personal and you do an awesome job. You've got a great team, so 
today we'll just give you a bit of a backside story to how all that happens and wouldn't happen without this man and his team. So over to you, mate. No um, worries. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So with our vans, everything is pre-designed from our team and everything is nested and cut in our CNC facility across the road. Once that happens, all the parts come over to our cabinetry team here. Everything is assembled and has its own slots and everything fits into its own mortise and tenons. Everything's locked into place, cannot be moved, accuracy guaranteed every time. Yeah, and that's what gives a lot of strength, isn't it? And one of the things we've really worked hard with yourself and the team is making things in modules, eh, to go into the vans, make it easier for the guys, so. That's right, so now we're trying to go to everything to plug and play, so the module's completed with all wiring, plumbing, electrical, everything goes into it, so yep. then they can put it on the chassis and away we go. Yeah, and then again, obviously, once it gets bonded in, gets screwed, glued with everything else, that's what really creates that true strength of the whole um, van coming together. It's, it's pretty cool seeing it from this backside, and a lot of our audience don't get to see this. We're not trying to hide anything, but really appreciate you, mate, giving us a bit of time today. I know you're busy, so no thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Cheers. So in 24, what we've gone to is a full electrical system too to control our water. So we've got now solenoids that you can turn your tank to one, two, three. The other nice thing is this gives you a bit of an insight to plates that we put in there for washing machines, the way everything's been done and tested before it hits the line. All of our cabinetry inner locks joins in there. As we've always said, we build from the inside out and you're seeing that here today live. So it's nice to be able to show the detail we go to. So we're getting lots of questions about what we're doing for 24 for our battery systems. So obviously we use Red Arc batteries as well as the Red Arc electrical system. One of the cool things that we've done, some of the law changes that were coming we knew about 12 months ago, been working towards making our very own composite battery box. So it's a fully sealed unit that we make it one composite. Uh, luckily for us, we have our own business in that department so we can fully manufacture exactly what we want. So this hangs underneath your vehicle, bolts up, sealed down, completely sealed. Once you put that on there, there's no more things. We've got our poles on each side so you can jump start, do whatever you need to do. In the case of an emergency, you need to change some of this. It drops down, easily can access this, get your batteries out, change it. Now batteries don't give much of an issue anymore, but we have made it with that in mind. It's really nice, works really well, very strong, love composites. So here we are, we've got our walls ready for tomorrow's van. This one here looks like a 21 foot sojourn, so protection pack's already been done. The windows, everything will go in, the electrical door will go in. We put as much on at this level, so nobody's obviously again having to do anything at heights. Then we'll move straight on to our roofs so you can just see the detail where we make all of our roofs the same they're a complete one piece unit so all the lights ladders if this had a ladder everything gets done down here at ground level now that's been one of the best things we've done having overhead cranes and things like that to then pick this up put it on the van just makes everything really easy um, there's always three so they just keep moving across and then they're straight on the van all right, so we're at the back of our van here in the next bay. So one of the things, Dean runs all this part of the line here. So he's our bay leader, what we call them. As you can see at the moment, it's all just taped up, but I know we don't leave it that way. But um, can you just explain to everyone what we're doing here in this process that you do, where you bring the walls, the floors? Yeah, so we get the, we get the van with the cupboards and everything already installed. Okay, the first step is, is the walls go on, yep. sit, in, sit in the tracks. They get bonded and screwed to all the cupboards and then we use the big overhead crane. And we bring in the able to bring in the roof in one piece, which is precision. We're able to get it within millimeters of where it's supposed to go. Yeah, and then you guys just tape it for the. Because yeah. you've got some new bonding materials in here that give you. We've got a, a two-pack glue in here that actually allows us to move the van within a couple of hours. Yeah. And we just tape it there. You can see how neatly it all fits. Yeah. No, it's really nice, mate. You guys do a great job yeah. and. So for you to do that, you do a couple every day, I'm assuming. We, we, we aim is to get through two, two vans every day, and there's yep. not often we don't do that. Yeah, it's great, mate. Yeah. No, you do a great job. Yep. You've got a great bay here, and we yeah. thank you for all your hard work. No worries. Thank Cheers, you. Thing. So here we are. We're in the internals now. So 
Obviously the boys are still working on this. I haven't worn them I'm coming in, but we always protect everyone's floors. We've got stuff in here getting prepared. All the battery systems now are on the uh, external. So I've picked up more room inside here. Everything just starts to come together. It's fully bonded now. She's lock solid. I can push around and move things. Nothing's going to move. Our overheads are known for being really strong. So we have a little bit of alley, but mainly all composite. Same on this side. But the true strength of a van is in all the way it's bonded together. And we believe these are one of the strongest you'll ever come across. But um, it's a big job, as you can see, and it's amazing how they come together. So bed frame, it's gone in. Everything's starting to really take shape now. Overheads are starting to go on. Everything comes in at the end here. Starting to get all our shelving done. Sideboards are put on the top of the foot lockers. En suites pretty much complete. This is starting to get to the end of the road. Right, so now we're in the last bay. Last things, like I said, upholstery goes in, bed will get finished off. This one's a bunk van, obviously a family van, so all of their stuff will go in. There's a couple of little final things to get put in, but microwave goes in last as well, so it doesn't get damaged along the line. Then the Cleaning team will come on board once it gets outside. They water test, goes through QC as well. So everywhere we've been, you'll see any dots and red dots anywhere. That's where the QC team already have picked up things that they want to improve. So we do that across the entire line build. So anywhere you see that, that's one of the team and each member digitally looks at that as well. And they can put that on their trolley boards and that gives us the digital vision of what's going on, what places, who needs help, support, training and equipping. But all the water, everything's done now. Have a look through this one. It's um, come out a really nice van. All right, so now here we are. We're at the end of the line. We've done everything. We've built the van. It's complete. And this is handover day tomorrow. So it's pretty exciting at the end of the week. Vans go out every day, but particularly on a Friday, people love picking up, going up to Hangar and having that great experience. So what an absolute pleasure it is for us to build this sojourn for this family. They're gonna enjoy it and get out there and travel Australia. Hopefully we can help make that dream come true for you as well. And we look forward to getting you in the zone because we really do believe it's in a zone of its own.